Hey guys, Arthur here. Today I would like to show you how you can restrict mint of your NFT tokens with the time constraint. So here you can see a very simple NFT. Um, if you would like to get this code, just go to the description of this video because I've pasted there the link to the code. And this is a very simple NFT based on open Zeppelin contracts. And here you can see that we have the function that can be called only by the owner. Uh, the only owner modifier um, is basically doing some security check that this function can be called only by the owner of the contract. Of course, sometimes you want to anybody to mint your NFT or call your functions. So if you would like to have this function um, available to anybody, you can just remove the only owner uh, modifier. However, uh, today I would like to show you some other thing um, and basically how you can control when the function can be called depending on time. So let's say you have some NFT uh, giveaway and you would like to start this giveaway on the certain date. So for example, today it's uh, 20th of April, uh, it's 5 p.m. and you would like um, anybody to basically start minting your token only uh, when it is uh, 5 p.m. Um, of the 21st of April. So how to do it? So first of all, um, you have to know that um, the time inside the Solidity can be grabbed by a block uh, timestamp uh, variable. So this variable holds the current um, time and this time is represented as the Unix time um, epoch. So this is basically the seconds since some date. So for example, if you would like to call this uh, function right now, uh, then um, the uh, block timestamp will basically be something like that. So it's the representation of the numbers. So uh, it's it's an integer and um, the block timestamp will always return you the current timestamp on which the block was mined. So this is not when the function was actually called by somebody, but the, the block timestamp is um, calculated when actually the function is uh, mined by the miners. So how to do it? So first of all, um, I will create a function. I will just uh, make it uint and I will call it uh, mint uh, from date. Uh, and I will make this variable public. Um, and um, we have to just um, assume that here the require would be uh, that block timestamp, um, so this is the current time, uh, is uh, higher than the mint from uh, date, uh, cannot mint uh, yet. So we would have this requirement statement, which basically checks whether it's this statement is true. If it's not true, uh, then you would have an error. However, if uh, the block timestamp, which is current time is above the mint from date, uh, then you are able to uh, mint. So let's uh, check it out. Uh, I will also um, do the function that lets us update uh, mint uh, date. Um, so I will just have here uh, timestamp and it will be public function that can be called only by owner just for the safety reasons and then we can just specify that mint from date is equal to timestamp um, that is uh, provided here as argument. So there is, it's a very simple function that lets you update the mint date and I, I prepare it just for a reason to show you, to demonstrate you how you can manipulate the time in the solidity. Of course, if you would like to have um, this mint from date constant, you can just specify it in your contract and mark the variable as constant, no problem with that. But here you have the possibility to actually update this mint date. So let's um, deploy this smart contract here in the Remix IDE and let's uh, try it. So we have the function called save mint. Um, I will just mint something to my address. So um, right now, if there is a save mint, uh, we can see that actually it worked because by default, the mint from date is zero. So the block timestamp would be always uh, 
something higher than zero, obviously. But uh, let's say that we would like to have the um, mint happen on the certain time. So in order to do this, we go here and we can just specify that we would like to have the April 21st and for example, um, just uh, 10. And then you can basically uh, convert that into the Unix timestamp. And you can see that there's uh, also a time zone here. So this is uh, the um, this specific uh, time in my time zone, which is uh, Central European summer time. So I can just copy this Unix timestamp and I can update the mint date. Um, so I will just call this function as owner. And now if I would like to mint another NFT, you can see uh, that uh, we have an error that you cannot mint yet. And we can just, uh, for example, copy uh, the current time. And if we uh, update it at the moment, uh, then try to save mint again, you can see that it works because the current uh, timestamp is above the mint from uh, date. Um, another interesting thing um, that you can use these uh, timestamps is, is, of course, if you would like to do some staking contracts, then you would like to keep track when somebody staked some tokens. And then, of course, you can use the block timestamp in some other scenarios. However, I will uh, not cover that in this uh, video. And that's all that I have for you today. If you would like to join my Solidity course, then you can do it on web3army.dev. Uh, currently, the registrations are closed, but if you are joining a waitlist, you will get from me uh, access to the free newsletter on which I am sending some free lessons and free resources from which you can learn Solidity. However, if you would like to join the cohort of my course and access to some special Discord channel on which we are together learning solidity by examples we are doing some interesting projects some challenges if you are just interesting for more you can just join my solidity dev starter see you there or see you on this channel thanks